Phil Lowe's seven years as Reserve Bank of Australia Governor could perhaps be characterised by one word, inflation. When he got the job in 2016, inflation in Australia was barely above 1%. In his first appearance in front of a parliamentary committee, he had to defend the bank's apparent obsession with how to stir it. We've not been what some have called inflation nutters. We've had a more balanced perspective, recognising that some degree of variability in inflation from year to year is both inevitable and appropriate. CPI didn't vary that much in the years that followed, barely touching the lower bound of the RBA's 2-3% target band, until the COVID-19 outbreak, when inflation briefly dipped below zero. A global pandemic was a black swan event none of Lowe's predecessors had to deal with. After slashing the cash rate to a record low 0.1%, he came to utter the words that would ultimately contribute to him losing his job. We are likely to be at the current level of interest rates for an extended period of time. In March 2021, he even put a date on it, saying the condition for an increase in the cash rate is unlikely to be met before 2024. Many Australians took him at his word, taking out ultra-cheap mortgages as the property market roared back to life, only to be wrong-footed. So much for 2024, by May 2022, inflation was running red hot, and to contain it, the RBA embarked on the fastest pace of rate increases in Australia's history 400 basis points in 14 months, leading to some very awkward questions. Do you accept that you did, in fact, induce Australians to take out mortgages on the basis that interest rates wouldn't rise until 2024? And do you think you owe those people an apology? Well, I'm certainly sorry if people um, listened to what we'd said and then acted on that, uh, what we'd said and now regret what they had done. So that's... Um, that's regrettable and I'm sorry that um, that happened. Lowe's hopes of getting a three-year extension as governor were effectively dashed. The responsibility for defeating inflation now passes to his deputy and incoming governor, Michelle Bullock, the first woman to lead Australia's central bank. Paul Allen, Bloomberg, Sydney.